I talk to my mate Key, who gives his three reasons of why he thinks you should start Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. The thing he finds most challenging about training Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And his top tip for anyone thinking of starting Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Keith, we've been training Jiu Jitsu for how long? Six years. Keith definitely started a couple of years after me. And as you can see from his foul, he's on the, the fast track. Right. He's on the manic yeah. fast track. You know, about six hours a week though, mate. Can you give me three reasons why Ooh. you would suggest it? I think it helps your mental health. It gives you a place to go to. In what way does it help your mental health? Well, you don't, uh, don't uh, get rid of any energy and uh, yeah. the emotions that you get from being the dad. Yeah. At home with all the ups and downs that you've got, I think it gives you some of that. The issue of fitness, obviously, is massive. Yeah. And uh, mental health, fitness, and I'd say depression in your life with your family and your work and because, all that kind of stuff. You, you are, it, for you, it's a family affair. Your wife and your son both do jiu-jitsu, don't they? Yeah. Which is awesome. And how are they getting on? Seth's doing good. He's six years in and we started at four, so he's now ten. You see, I remember little Seb when you and me used to roll, yeah. he used to run on and jump on your back yeah, like, yeah, during yeah. a roll. Yeah. So he's literally yeah. grown up watching you roll. Yeah. Well, in fact, I've, I watched him roll to start with. He started first. Really? He came here, yeah, when he turned four years older, he wanted to give him something so he could look after himself. And when he gets older, when he's in his teens and that. And this seemed like the right thing. So once he started, six months later, I started. And after sitting on the sidelines and watching and thinking this looks like fun. You see, I got that wrong. I thought it was you, then Stacey, then Sam. So it was actually Seb, then you, then Stacey. Yeah. If you understand oh, okay. the photos of all three of us with our geese and belts on, Sam's always at the top of the line. Okay. He seems to be the highest belt because he's been over lumber. Oh, nice. And in fairness, he's got more belts than I have. And how do you find it helps with family life? Oh, having the missus do it as well. Well, first thing, it makes it a lot easier to get in here. So you don't have to, oh, you're not allowed to go to jujitsu tonight business. Uh, yeah. We all want to go to So she's got the bug as well now. Yeah. Another place to sort out our marathon there is on the mat. Was like, we did self the friends last week on the week before. We've got the uh, boxing gloves out. Who wins? Well, the missus. Really. So you're a full strike purple belt. Yeah. So you're dangerously close to becoming the higher echelons of jiu-jitsu. Indeed, yeah. But I can't obviously use all my plumber's strength and man's strength on the missus. I have it's to because I know you as the friendliest plumber in East Sussex, but yeah, yeah. just that would be a tip. Don't ever Don't shortchange yeah. how your invoices on time. Yeah. I will knock on your door, otherwise. Jiu-jitsu is it's so many things. Physical health, mental health, the feeling of community. Yeah. yeah. And progression in your life, mate. Because yeah. you're so used to coming here and doing something with your stuff that all the time and seeing a very long, slow progression, you can apply that to your life. And you to like real for a business, I can apply that to my business as well. Bang him up so easily. How has it affected your relationship with Serev? How does he get on at school? He's not scared to uh, run around with the boys. If we are getting a bit rough with him, he can provide boundaries for them. So he gives them a lot of confidence there. In the classroom, I don't know. Well, it's obviously the right because you don't have much from the sounds of it, any behaviour issues. So it's obviously doing something. That's a phone. Any tip for anyone who started Jiu Jitsu? Yeah, come, turn up, get through the front door, and every day that you come, if you're not sure where to go, you don't know, you keep coming up with which Jiu and whatever, you just get in front. What's the most challenging thing about Jiu Jitsu? Sucking at it, feeling like you're <laughs> on the side, permanently, just. Always getting beaten by people. Yeah, I get uh, that. You expect to uh, be better than you're not because you are who you are on the particular day and the particular time. And do you know that person? What's the best thing about Jiu Jitsu if you had to sum it up? Oh. What's the best thing about Jiu Jitsu? It's like the family, it's the vibe yeah. here, the kind of the holistic whole experience of life on the mat being the same as life in reality, and having this whole family of people that you can all progress and grow in. Yeah, I like that. Mate, you've got to go and roll. Your yeah. wife, she's got an Ezekiel yeah. chariot. She needs to perfect. You've lost and tortured, Keith. That's who taught you with a black belt. So you easy to do. Jiu Jitsu's a game changer. I'm really not capping. I've trained for eight years, spent a lot of that tapping. The one thing I know to be true is BJJ is good for you. If you struggle with your mental health, please follow this directive. BJJ can improve your life, cause it'll improve your perspective. I really hope you got something from this episode. And if you've just started training BJJ, or you're a man or woman who started training BJJ later on in life in your 30s, 40s or older, I'd love to know your story and how you're getting on. If you'd like to watch the first video in this series, please click this link here. I hope wherever you're in the world, you're okay. Take care.